It's like, it is. All right, here we are. I have been waiting for months uh, for this interview, and I'm super, super excited to introduce you to uh, one of the best color consultants I've ever met in my life. Now, most women think color consultant, okay, I'm going to get balayage. I'm going to get highlights. No, this actually has a higher impact, I think, on your life and your house. Um, and what I wanted to talk about was paint color for your home. And um, most people know that paint is the uh, highest impact on your house, on your resale and the lowest cost. You know, a lot of people think let's replace the kitchen, the bathroom, all that good stuff. One of the best things that you could do if you haven't painted your house in a while is a refresher. And with me today is Erin Dean of Farrow and Ball. Erin, welcome. Hi, thank you for having me, Stacey. Thanks for coming. So to give some background, we were renovating our master bedroom and uh, our office. And I had seen online and in a magazine, Farrow and Ball Paint. It's a British company, right? Yes, it is. We're based out of Dorset, England, actually. So I would see it and I'm like, this is so cool. I love these colors. What's the difference between them and Sherwin-Williams or, you know, any other bear paint, all that good stuff. And what was cool that I saw that you offered was a consultation virtual for people and you would have, well, I'm going to let you talk, but why don't you talk to us about Farrow and Ball and your affiliation and what you can provide to uh, any homeowner? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I'm the color consultant here in the Midwest. Uh, I've been with the company for about five years now, which is great. Um, the company itself, Farrow and Ball, has been operating for over 70 years. Uh, it's a really actually small kind of like not mom and pop, but like we keep it, we keep it small, uh, you know, the, the warehouse and everything that, uh, where everything's produced, you know, it's the same people year after year doing this. So everyone really takes their craft very seriously and it's, it, it hits very close to home. Um, so you're getting a very artisan product when you purchase paint or wallpaper through us. Um, the company itself, I mean, we just, we produce paint. It's a luxury paint wallpaper brand essentially. Um, and, kind of going off of that, we do take pride in our product being a low VOC and low environmental impact product as well. Um, so we're fully clay and water-based. I mean, you it smells very earthy when you put it on. There's no chemical smelling or anything like that. Um, the wallpaper is also produced to order and it's using uh, very old techniques, block print method, all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to get too technical on it, but it's very <laughs> textured and very, it's just a very unique look. Um, the, the paints, again, without getting too technical, they're chock full of titanium dioxide, which basically holds your pigment and gives us that depth of color and that richness that just adds so much life to each space. And that's kind of what sets us apart from other products on the market right now. I love that. And um, when I first saw that you did consultations, you could time block in either an hour and a half or two hours. And I was laughing to myself. I'm a real estate agent. I'm like, cool. What are we going to talk about for an hour and a half? Like I already know what I want. And uh, this should be like a five minute conversation. But what was neat is you asked questions that I never thought of for my house um, that also had to do with my lifestyle, which I didn't think of. Um, you made a couple of different insights that I never would have thought of and that I loved. And we're going to give people a discount at the end of this video if they order through Fire and Ball in Chicago because they'll ship it to you for FedEx for free. Mm -hmm. You'll also get a discount on that. So you don't know this and you have not seen these pictures yet, Erin, but um, I'm sitting in my office or actually my husband Joe's office. We renovated, used the paint colors that you picked out. And so I want to do a little reveal with you and I'm going to send these to you as well. Oh, um, I, <laughs> I, I can't tell you how thrilled I am. And more importantly, Joe is with these pictures. So let's do the first one. Okay. So here we go. So <laughs> my space is 10 by 10. It's like 10 inches, 10 feet, 10 inches by 10 feet. And you had said a couple of things that kind of rocked my boat. I was like, damn, I never even thought of this. One of them being, let's paint the ceiling the same color as the walls, which I was like, you know, mind blown. Wow, that's crazy. 
Um, why I want you to go over what you suggested, including the baseboard. And I want everybody to know this color because I love it. Absolutely. So, I mean, it, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe we use railings or off black on the trim here. Um, but yes. the, the reason behind, I mean, I remember our conversation very clearly when we were speaking about this mural that your husband really wanted in his, his office space, the office space, essentially, yes. um, we wanted to feature that and not take away from it in any way. So creating the, the, the feature wall that it is kind of helps when you, when you drench a space kind of up and over the walls and the ceiling and, and just focusing on that back wall, it really helps to bring that to life. And then it doesn't feel choppy in any way. Your, your eye isn't being distracted by a bright white ceiling and then you're switching colors again. And then we've grounded the space in this beautiful, you know, inky kind of bluey black color to kind of bring it up and over the doors and really just ground the space in a color like that. Now I want to show you this because I had never looked at Copperhead. And when you look at the trim and the door and the baseboard, it looks online like it's black and I cannot. And by the way, no American paint company can match this color. Um, it's called Copperhead, isn't it? It's Hopperhead actually. Yeah. Hopper, Hopper like beer pops. Okay. Hopperhead. <laughs> So I love, this is my favorite part of the project for our office. And then I mean, look at this view. It's the kind of like, it's like a picture view. It just frames out what, what, what you want to see. I love it. And it's not, it's almost like a black, gray and blue, if you will. And mm -hmm. um, I absolutely love it. So let me go back. Um, so the other thing is the different finishes for the paint, uh, the finish on the trim, on the baseboard, as opposed to the ceiling and the walls. You offer different um, versions and sheens. Again, something I never thought about um, when you go to choose your paint color. And that has made all the difference um, for my main bedroom and the office. So what are the different types of finishes that Farrow and Ball offers? So um we offer a wide range of finishes again everything's you know water-based but we can go up to a semi-gloss a full gloss to really give you that almost lacquered look if you want um but i mean finishes for walls i mean you start at they're they're both pretty matte we go dead flat we go modern emulsion um they'll keep you know, that richness and that depth and some of them, I mean, even the dead flat, that'll look like velvet on your walls. It's very dense. Um, it absorbs a lot of that light so that you're not getting a lot of light refracting around. You're not getting that white cast, that glare uh, that, you know, a traditional satin paint would give you. And then up to our, you know, uh, modern eggshell or estate eggshell, full gloss, anything that you would use on your woodwork there. Um, it ups the sheen a little bit, but then it gives you kind of that layered look that people are looking for right now too. Um, so you've got that big differentiation between the walls being pretty matte in most cases. And then here we have the eggshell on uh, the trim work, the door, everything like that. And it gives you a little bit of light play and it highlights really what you want to see. Um, so what I can tell as um, after this paint came up is that you're right. There's no um, glare at all. And this is one of the sunniest days that we've had in quite some time. And, uh, it just, it almost absorbs it and it's yeah. really, really cool sheen. Uh, and again, something that I never thought about as a homeowner, yeah. um, and in terms of resale as well, we know that picking the wrong color, like a Pepto-Bismol pink is really not going to net you a high value. So what are you seeing? Maybe colors of the year or, classic colors that will help enhance the value of someone's home. Absolutely. So, I mean, I work actually with a lot of realtors. I work with people that are going to be selling their home soon or in two, three years. And, you know, everyone has a different take on what an acceptable neutral is, but I find um, a creamy, clean white, not a, not builder's white. No, we're not going, you know, architectural, you know, bright white in most cases, um, but a, a creamy, nice white will always work. Um, anything in like the soft blue green kind of spa like colors, those are always great as well, um, especially for like bathrooms and, and primary uh, suite spaces, anything that kind of helps 
relax and create a sense of, of calm. And I could really see myself having a cup of tea and, you know, waking up in a space like this, that's, that's always got high, high value, I guess, for a lot of my clients, at least. I loved working with you and I wanted to share this one. So this was the impetus for me calling you. And I think it's on here. Can you see this room? I can't Let see. Me see. I'm going to, I'm going to do stop screen. No, I got to present. And then, and you can do it as well, but let me see this. This was the room that started it and then started my mm -hmm. conversation. I remember this. Yep. So I can't show you my room yet because I don't have the furniture. However, Carlos Castro from EMC was able to duplicate the walls and you were help, you were awesome in helping me paint, pick the right paint colors. One was schoolhouse white mm -hmm. up top. And then uh, the green, like the mellow, warm green, I think it was called blue green or blue gray. Blue gray. Mm -hmm. So this is what started it all. And again, I thought our conversation would last five minutes. Take people through what, when you do a consult, what do you think about, what do you want your client to think about when they're picking out their paint color? Well, this is all, this is a great jumping off point for that conversation too, because I mean, I have all my clients fill out questionnaire. They send me inspiration photos. I want to see all of your Pinterest boards, everything you've been obsessing over for months. Um, this is a great, great example because yes, this is wonderful and beautiful in this photo, but is it practical for your space? Is it really going to function like this? Absolutely not. We don't have the same lighting. What I like my clients to focus on is like what they, what what sense or what, what this, you know, photo or what their inspiration brings them, you know, how they want the space to feel. Um, I'm fully trained in light and color. I can, once I get a sense of what you are trying to achieve, I can help you do that. It may not be this crisp white and, you know, brighter version of essentially the blue gray we, we selected for, for your uh, molding. But, um, you know, once, once we have an idea of what you really want to achieve and how you want to feel in the space and how the space functions for you, that's what I want you to focus on. And then I can focus on, you know, presenting schemes and presenting colors. You know, my job is to help you whittle down through the noise and whittle down through the thousands of colors that are out there. Um, but that that's essentially what I would like my clients to focus on. And, and it really helps us, you know, direct the conversation and come to um, a palette that's really going to work in practicality for your space. I think you did an excellent job. I had a blast with you. This was a really fun exercise. It wasn't even an exercise. It was an education, I would say, because you made me think about things like light. You had asked me how much light does my room get? How much is coming in? Mm -hmm. uh, what's the furniture that you picked out? What does your flooring look like? And um, I walked you through with my laptop and showed you the bedroom before. It was ripped down. Uh, all the floors were up. And then the same thing with the office area. And the hour and a half flew by. It was a lot of fun. It was educational. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's well worth everyone's while. If you're not going to sell your home, awesome. Spend some time with Aaron Dean and Farrow and Ball and figure out what palette, what kind of mood or vibe you're trying to strike. Um, and then also just know long term that this paint's going to withhold. It's not typically going to bleach with the sun. It's going to last really long because of the clay and the water base. And then um, there's something else that, uh, that I'm missing about Farrow and Ball that I love. Um, they're different colors that you don't see anywhere else, which I think is super mm -hmm. cool. Uh, the different finishes. Um, what are three things, Erin, that you may want to leave with people when they think about painting their kitchen or their bedroom or their mudroom? I think that kind of goes back to what we were saying before, you know, I think a couple things I would just lead with, even if they don't do a consultation, if they can take anything out of our, you know, conversation today, it's think about how in the future you want your space to function, not how your Pinterest board looks or anything like that. You can use that later, but what do you specifically want this space to function as how you want to feel in it? And then take that into consideration with your lighting. And the one thing I will say, whether it is Faro and Ball or anything else, sampling is going to be the most important part of your project. Um, I can't tell you how much I believe in just living with the color on a large swatch or, you know, paint it up on your wall for 
a couple days at least so that you can look at it morning, noon, and night, make sure that it's going to be the perfect color for your space and it's gonna react the way that you want it to. Some colors can look super warm in the morning, cooler at night, vice versa. Um, Sampling is really important for um, any project, I would say. I love that. That's something that I should do that I really don't. I was just like, all right, Erin, you pick this out. Cool. We're going to do this, this, this. <laughs> <laughs> and then my bedroom had, um, we had schoolhouse white and then the trim. And it was this little nuance, like this little, little difference that really adds to the room is that the trim was a different off white than than that schoolhouse white, which it sounds like crazy to say, like it does make a difference when I come into my bedroom. I love it. I feel like I'm in a hotel room. You help me capture that with the paint colors that Pharaoh and Ball offers. And I love that. Um, I wish I did the whole house because I remember being like, oh, I don't want to go up that. And then when, once we were done, I was like, damn, I wish I did the whole house with Aaron. So I will be back. Absolutely. We can definitely take that on. <laughs> and what I love is Aaron's in Chicago. Mm -hmm. I'm in Pennsylvania. However, she can still do a consult with you, ask about your dream board, your Pinterest, which I totally forgot, and then do a uh, live consult with you and make suggestions. Then you'll get pricing. And then also, how can we get them the discount? So um, I will give my contact information out. Um, email me directly. We can set up a virtual appointment. Once you're done with our consultation, you get a contractor discount through us, free sampling materials, you get like the designer fan deck, all this stuff. Um, so it really does make the project fun, helps negate some of the cost. Um, like Stacy had mentioned earlier in the in this conversation, free shipping through FedEx. It's like express shipping. It's to awesome. It's great. And it's like, handled with care um, directly from our warehouse. So um, I will absolutely give out my email address uh, for anyone that would like to do a consult with me or, you know, purchase a consult for as a closing gift. Always a great idea. It is. It's awesome. So if you're a homeowner or if you're renting and you want to up the quality of your life, because I really believe that like the paint colors really have an effect. You come home from work, you sit down, you want to decompress in your inner room that you truly feel inspired by. I love the paint. I look at it as an investment and it has again, low cost, high impact, high, huge impact. Um, we're going to put, I'll put in the comments, your contact information and then a website. And again, the free samples, 15% off, you get that contractor discount and they'll FedEx it to your front door. That's it. That's how easy it is. And it was so much fun. And we are going to do this again because I need my first floor. That makes and, sense. Um, I'm going to show you the bedroom uh, once it is 100% complete. I so, love it. Erin Dean, I just want to thank you again. You are gifted. I love working or talking, have a conversation with people that really know what they're doing. And they're really, really good at it. And you are certainly one of those people. Thank you, Stacey. This was so much fun. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And I'm going to put information in the comments. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.